Faber friends. This is Mindy with Henley a Handmade, where I naturally dye U.S. farm wool for um, eco-conscious knitters and crocheters. I am back. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. So forgive me if I feel, if I am a little awkward today, I'm going to do my best. Video doesn't come naturally to me, but I keep trying. So hopefully I'm getting better. So today I am here with a purpose. I have a special package to unbox and I'm super excited to show you, and I'm excited to find out what I got um, before I get started. Oh, I have my tea here as you know, we like to do as knitters. Um, you know what, actually I think I'm not gonna take a sip of that. Uh, there's my um, mana tea for steeping my loose leaf tea. And um, in case you're interested, that is Harney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice. It's one of my favorites for cool mornings uh, like today. Um, this is a sachet box, but I actually like to buy the one pound loose leaf bags from um, Amazon. They're about 20 bucks and I just refill my box as I need it and um, it's way cheaper and better for the environment to do it that way. So that's what I do. Um, and I came prepared with some water too. Um, oh, quick, quick note. If you're on my email list, uh, you may have remember me mentioning a few weeks back that I was doing some sewing. And this is my Hinterland dress by, designed by Meg of Sew so Liberated. It has pockets. Um, I just love how it turned out. I used uh, Robert Kaufman's Cotton Linen Blend, which I've used before on some shorts. And I just love how it softens up as I wear it and wash it. Um, so I didn't make any modifications to the pattern before I started this. And um, you'll see that the shoulders just come out too wide for me. So it comes, um, it looks a little sloppy. Uh, when I make it again, I'll definitely bring that in. And I may even size down a one size. I don't know. It's meant to be a nice, loose, flowy dress. And it is maybe just a little too loose. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I do, I am planning on making this dress again though, because it's super, super comfy and I think it'll be a year round piece for me too, because I can, you know, just slap on some leggings and boots and a cardigan and it'll be, make, make a really nice fall outfit for me too, winter. It'll basically carry me through the year. <laughs> so, okay. Let's talk needle storage because this relates to what I'm here to open today. I have various items for storing, storing my needles. This is um, a brand called Namaste and it's this sort of accordion style uh, pockets for you to store your needles in. I got this as a gift. Um, I think it came off of Knit Picks. I'm not sure if they still make them. I like it. I do like it. It's not, it doesn't have enough pockets for me, so I would have needed to get at least a couple more. Um, and I've doubled up. I've started just doubling up, putting extra needles in here. And I like that you can um, label it and you can see at a glance exactly what sizes you have. I've labeled mine with the US size as well as the cable length needle, although it's not 100% uh, accurate anymore because I've added to it, or I've, I've doubled up needles. Um, I also have, um, you know, like the standard, these are one of my Chiaogu, uh, one of my interchangeable needles, and so I just leave these in this because it's so nice and compact. I, I really actually like the way this is designed. What I don't like 
you'll see most of my needles are in use. What I don't like about it is that there isn't a nice way to store your extra cables. So all of my extra cables are like just stuffed in this pocket here. And I don't really like that because I like to be able to see what cables I have handy that I don't have to take off of another project. But anyway, so I have that. And then um, uh, a friend gave this to me. I think she received it when she worked at an art store um, as like a free um, demo product or um, I don't know what you call it, but you know how sometimes they'll... Uh, companies will send free items to stores for them to see them and test them out, but they're not really for sale. So anyway, this is Art Bin brand, and this is going to be a mess. Um, I have some needles. I don't really use my straight needles anymore, so these pockets have more of my like bigger crochet hooks that I don't really use very often. Um, and then it has just like some big pockets, which is just a big giant mess for me. Um, this is usually where I store all of my extra needles that don't fit in my Namaste box um, when they're not on other projects. So, when I saw um, Molly of 5 to 6 handmade uh, version of a... Oh, I forgot to grab it. <laughs> Sorry, I'll grab it. That was silly. The most important thing I forgot to grab. Um, when I saw her uh, needle storage options on, in her Etsy shop, I was super curious to give it a try. So I have my package here and I thought it'd be fun to open it um, with you today. Uh, and Molly, this is Molly's card. Five to six handmade. She, it's an Etsy shop, and this is not. I'm sorry if that's backwards. <laughs> um, it's not the first purchase I've made from her shop. Actually, this adorable tote came from her shop as well, and um, it has some nice pockets in the front, and it has a zippered, a nice zippered pocket in there. Um, and look at the cute, how you, the, um, around the zipper is the cute, um, fabric from the front too. I love that. So anyway, this is a nice size tote. It's, um, I don't know. Let's see here. Um, uh, it's, when it's open, it's about 11 inches wide and maybe five inches or 11 inches wide, is that the right word, uh, five inches deep, and about nine inches, ten inches tall. So it's a good size. Um, I used to have my um, Weekender Light project in here, but it's sort of outgrown it, so it's turned into um, a project bag for some other things that I'm working on right now. Um, anyway, um, Let's get to it, shall we? So Molly is located in Washington State, which is not so far away from me. I'm here in Central Oregon. Uh, I have family in Washington, and I actually used to live in Washington too, so. package. Oh, this is so fun. I can't, I'm super excited about this. This actually arrived a few days ago, but I waited until I had a few minutes to record this for you to open it. So I'm really excited about seeing, seeing what this looks like. So nice little, a little card with a personal note on the back and her beautiful branded sticker too. So just she does a really good job of making this feel extra special. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love, love, love the fabric. Oh, it's so happy. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be so fun. 
fun to use. So, oh, look, there's um, magnetized snaps here that keep it closed. And, ooh, look at this. So I actually wasn't entirely sure how big this was gonna be. Um, she provides um, some stickers for the sizes that you can stick to the little envelopes. And inside, oh, how many are here? Let's see, one, two, three, four. It looks like there's 12. So four envelopes per little section here. And these are like the really nice, sturdy, thick zippies. So I'll definitely, I can definitely see this lasting a really long time. Probably better than my little accordion um, folder that I've been using. I've kind of been babying that thing uh, along because I was afraid that it would start falling apart. But oh, this is super, this is beautiful. So it's a lot heavier than you would think because the, the quality of those um, zipper pouches in the inside uh, is really, really nice. So this is, for reference, it is about 10 inches by eight and a half inches. So it's good sized, it's good sized. This will be really, really nice for getting organized, getting more, more organized. Um, and yeah, that's great. I love that. I love this. I'm very, very happy with this. I'm excited to start filling it up. The size of the inside zipper pouches, um, there's my hand. So they're really big and I could see, I'm trying to decide how I'm going to organize. I think I will just organize by size and then maybe put an extra sticker on to say which length cables I have included. I used to keep a master list of all of my needles, but mm, you know how we just, we knitters, <laughs> we, there's always another needle you need. Always, always, oops, I'm gonna put this inside. I don't wanna lose my stickers. So anyway, oh, I'm super excited. This is so beautiful. I love the fabric. I really, really love the fabric. And it could slide right in here if I wanted it to. Look at that. If I was going somewhere and needed to bring a bunch of needles with me, that would be a perfect way to carry them. I love it. Thank you, Molly. This is beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm always so, always, I guess this is my second purchase from Molly. <laughs> I've been very, very happy with the quality of work that she um, makes. So it's beautiful, just beautiful. I'm excited to get the my needles um, organized. Um, okay, so that was, that was uh, the big, the big thing that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, let me get a set of tea here. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So nice. Um, and, uh, oh, I thought I'd give you a couple behind the scenes updates. Um, I haven't really been on social media much lately. I've kind of been taking a social media break this summer. So, um, there are a few projects that I have going that I haven't really shared much about lately publicly. So, um, one of those is that I am finishing up writing, my, uh, doing the writing part of my very first knitwear pattern, design pattern. So this is a hat, a hat project, and it's going to be available in uh, multiple sizes. And um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been quite a process learning all the different steps to designing knitwear. And I'm super excited to almost have this done. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get it sent, the pattern sent off to my tech editor within the next couple of days. I, mm, I was hoping to have it sent off a couple weeks ago, but 
you know, life, life happens. My first job is being a mom. So, <laughs> so everything else has to fit around that. Um, and just another fun little update, uh, just because this is, you know, knitting, we're knitters here. I thought I would show my um, Weekender Light project that I mentioned previously. Um, and I now have the um, the whole front done. You can see that the uh, it's knit from the bottom up. So you can see how the um, have the neckline bound off. These are the going to be the shoulder stitches, um, and that's the whole the whole front here. Uh, and so I'm working now on the back, the back yoke. I just, I just uh, started the back yoke last night, so I'm not very far, far on it yet. And I got a ways to go, probably about five inches, four and a half inches maybe, to knit. Um, and I am just loving this. It's not a quick project by any means because it is fingering weight and fingering weight sweaters, especially nice loose ones that are designed to be loose and comfy like this one, um, take a while, especially when I'm working on it in between other projects. So um, I'm using my um, gray base in what's called Thunderstorm, and I have a bunch of these uh, available in my shop. <laughs> so... Um, I'm on, I just started my third cake of yarn, my third skein of yarn. Um, I'm certain that I'm going to use this because the sleeves always take more yarn than I think it's going to. These are my, I have the, the other, I have two more skeins set aside for, um, the sleeves, which I don't, I don't know. I have not ever completed the full length sleeves for a fingering weight sweater. So we'll see how much yardage I end up using in the end. But um, I found myself, <laughs> I found myself kind of wondering like, no, why did I, why did I choose to do the Weekender light pattern? Because I have both patterns. I haven't actually made the Weekender either um, yet. And what it comes down to for me is, well, there's two, two main reasons. I have this smart wool, if you're familiar with that brand, there's a, a wool based company, clothing company called smart wool. I think they started with their socks, which are great socks. Um, and they have sweaters and they have some other things now too, but I s snagged a sweater, a light, it's a, like a super lightweight wool sweater by Smartwool at um, this warehouse sale that uh, they had in Portland years and years ago when I lived in Portland. And I have worn that sweater just to death. I love that sweater. Um, I kind of took a break from wearing it because I had babies and <laughs> my shape isn't the same as it was prior to having babies. So I used to wear that sweater all the time. Sometimes I still will wear it. Um, especially as like a layering piece when it's snowy or really cold. Um, but I just love it and it's super lightweight and it just, I, it felt like I could wear it almost any time. So that was my, probably the main reason why I decided to go with the Weekender Light because I wanted a lightweight sweater. Of course, it's not going to be as lightweight as a commercially machine made sweater is, but um, I think the drape will be really nice. Now, the other reason, and I'm just going to be real honest with this, about this, is a fingering weight sweater just costs less to make than a worsted weight sweater. It just does. Um, so, you know, I might end up using four, maybe five skeins of yarn for my fingering weight sweater um, compared to probably twice that. Um, for a worsted weight sweater. So um, they're just way more economical. <laughs> they're more economical to make. Um, and I think it just helps me enjoy the process more too, because not that I don't enjoy the process of knitting, but um, sometimes I get eager for the final pr product. And um, you know, it's just a lot of, a lot of stockinette, a lot of reverse stockinette, 
and it's just it's just been a lot of fun. It's just been um, a really enjoyable project to pick up and knit on mindlessly. So, and I've been working on it since March, I think, April? April, I think, maybe is when I cast it on. Um, and obviously I'm not working on it every day, but with fall looming ahead, I'm going to try to make an effort of working on it for some period of time every day so that I can finish it before the end of winter so that I can really enjoy it. So, um, yeah, sleeves, man, they always take so long. Yeah, it'll be fun though. Okay, so that is all I have to share with you today. I just really wanted to share the unboxing of this beautiful, beautiful, um, it's like an envelope. It's like, it's almost like a portfolio for your, oh yeah, it's like a portfolio for your knitting needles. It's just, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. She, Molly just picks, oops. Molly just picks the greatest fabrics. She has such a beautiful collection of fabrics that she makes her bags and cases from. Um, and they're all, well, I don't know if they all are. I think they all are this beautiful canvas, heavyweight. Um, it's, well, it's not a heavyweight canvas. It's like probably a midweight canvas, but, um, but it makes it really sturdy and you know, I'm not afraid that it's going to fall apart anytime soon. It's, it won't. So anyway, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you would like to, um, stay informed about my upcoming pattern that will be released sometime in the next period of time, <laughs> um, I'll have the link to my email list in the show notes or in the, um, the drop down below and um, yeah, feel free to follow me on any of the social media. I will start posting again um, probably once the school year starts, which is in a couple of weeks for my kids. So um, I'm on Instagram and, uh, and Facebook uh, and Pinterest as Henley a Handmade and I have a private Facebook group called um, Naturally Dyed Yarn Lovers by Henley Handmade, and you can answer the questions and request to join that if you are interested. That's where I usually, the bulk of um, knit-alongs happen is in that group. So anyway, um, that's all I have for you today, and I will try to be back again soon. Thanks for watching.